Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Sonic Love. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a how to install Garlic OS onto the newish RG. 35XX. Now, I've always been fascinated and a little bit obsessed with small handhelds. I don't know why I'm drawn to them, but I've always been that way. It started off, I think, in my younger days with the Game Boy Micro. Now, I absolutely love this thing. It is great. It was fantastic and portable. And to have GBA games in such a small form factor, and to take anywhere on the go. It really, to me, was revolutionary and I absolutely loved it. I do love the OG one. Um, this is a personal favorite of mine. One that I modded and put together with different levels of brightness, better screen, and obviously a much more classic design of the SNES style. Um, it's one of my favorites. I've got about six of these. I've done a few videos of where I've modded them and put them together. Um, very easy to do. I think I've got a Dragon Ball Z one, a Zelda one, um, and a few others as well. Uh, but this personally is my favourite, the SNES style. So from these days and growing up with just wanting something to take on the go, um, these were absolutely revolutionary for me and really changed my game and experience. And even to this day, there's so much nostalgia and I just absolutely love it. So I think that's where it stemmed from really we've had many additions um uh, these small tiny handhelds they may not be practical in any sense but to me just playing something like this it it just it really really puts a smile on my face and i think that's what it's about i really really enjoy it there's been some absolute classics this was a absolute banger and um, i've done lots of videos on them this one was so unique the funky s this was so unique and the form factor is just so small like look at that that's just so dinky then we've had some clones of the game boy sp so you know these this was a really really good and unique device it was from pal kitty our good friends from china it was cheap affordable and it was a lovely little hidden gem you can get it in a black version now as well then this thing was my next one this absolutely rocked my world when i first got it and it's still even now today this is such an absolute brilliant portable device absolutely love it the um quality is renowned from ambonic d-pad's great but the 280v for me um was a real beauty then the mayu mini this thing is just absolutely incredible i think it's a fan favorite um great design small form factor very pocketable take it on the go uh, absolutely incredible so i am still madly in love with this really really is nice and looks great as well this was one of my ultimate favorite portable gaming devices <laughs> still to this day i still absolutely love it shame about the memory but you can't get an sd card upgrade uh, which i have in these but yeah i've got I think I've got three of these now. Um, yeah, I absolutely love them. I collect them just because I just love that form factor. And I think it was so ahead of its time and advanced. And then this little fellow, I say little, but it's a little bit of a bigger upgrade to the Mayu Mini. I wouldn't say by very much. If you can have a little look, you know, it's a little bit bigger, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm, and I'm enjoying it so much now that we have the garlic os and it just gets improved constantly i think black Seraph constantly tweets out the changes and uh, obviously the new features that he's put in or if he's changed a certain way a game runs like arcade was terrible uh, playstation one was hit and miss some of the games were slow and stuff but now they run perfectly so in this video i want to show you how to set up garlic os for the RG35XX because not only is it a fantastic budget handheld but I've really really been enjoying I've been playing so many games on here it's been unreal and the new updates and changes to it um, has just made it even more of a pleasurable experience in my opinion so let's get into how to install Garlic OS on the RG35X. 
XX. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you've got any of the smaller handhelds. Are you a big fan of the smaller handheld? Do you have the Game Boy Micro? Do you still play it? Do you still have the Game Boy SP? And is this a favourite of yours? Or do you like the original wider version? Um, yeah, I'd love to know in the comments what you think of these older uh, official systems. Have you modded it? Yeah, I'd love to know. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So just before we start, I will be using a 64 gig SD card, just a standard generic one. Up to you which one you want to choose, you can. I would say for this type of handheld, a 1 to 8 gig will be more than sufficient to have every single game up to PS1. There is a lot more choices of emulators on there. So maybe a 256 gig if you want to overload it. But I do think that it will be a lot slower the way it loads in the files and so forth. So again, SD card is up to you. You can dual boot uh, with Garlic OS, but I will just be using a singular card and doing everything with a singular card. Also, you will need some applications on the PC to do so. You will need this genius. I will leave links in the description uh, to download them yourself and use them, and you will need Planet Etcher. So let's get started. So what we need to do first is go into Google search and type in Garlic OS for the RG35XX. If you scroll down for his Patreon page, this is it here. We click on, it is free guys. So as we scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. You'll see all the numerous updates that he's done to the version. He'll have two links at the bottom. One is for copy and paste on top of stock. So if you already downloaded an earlier version, then you just simply then add that to it. But for this version, we're going to just take out the RG Garlic micro SD card image. It's a seven zip. We just simply double click on it. It will then prompt us in the corner, save as. We just save it to the relevant place on your PC. I've already done it. So once we've downloaded the image, we'll go to downloads, we right click, 7-zip, extract here. This process won't take long, a few seconds. I've already installed it, so I'm just clicking continue, overwrite it. So what we want to do is pop in the SD card, go to Blender Etcher, Select image, mine is under garlic image. Highlight it, open. Select target, SD card, 64 gig, and then flash image. You'll be prompted, you just say yes, and it will start the flashing process. You should then be prompted that it has been completed. If it asks you to format the disk, then just close the tab. Then we extract the SD card. We grab our lovely handheld. We put the SD card in the top slot. and turn it on. You'll know if it's worked because it will flash up with Garlic OS. This will create a lot of partitions and also the file structure for the ROMs and BIOS to be added. So yeah, as you can see, very minimalistic, but works very, very well. So what we need to do now is turn off the unit Extract the SD card, 
place it back into the PC. You see lots of USB drives being flashed to you. If we scroll down, you'll see that we have lots. So on the left hand side, you'll see USB drive F, G, H, I and J. Now these are all file structures, but what we need to do is extend the file partition for H. If we just click onto H, you'll see that we have BIOS, CFW and ROMs. That is the extension we need to use Disk Genius for to extend the partition of the SD card. So remember what category this comes under. Uh, mine is H, yours may be different. Open Disk Genius. You'll be prompted to say yes. I will leave a link for this, guys. So one thing we need to do is be very, very careful of what we're doing here, guys. You will see a generic SD card format here, 58 gig. So that's my 64 gig card. If I click on it, you'll see the changes. But if you do any changes or recommendations to anything highlighted, you can lose your internal hard drive on here. So be very, very, very careful. So if I go to removable disk D, you'll see all the different partitions. Luckily, this one here says uh, removable disk H. So this is the one that I need to extend. So we highlight removable disk H. It will show us at the top which one the partition is. We right click and we want to resize partition. Click resize partition. You'll see at the top here, there is a arrow saying left and right. You want to click on the left button and scroll it right the way across to the very, very end till it can't go anymore and then click start. You will be prompted. Hit yes. And it will start the resizing process. Once USB drive H um, tells you what you want to do with the SD card, that's when you know it's finished. It says complete at the bottom also. Click complete and then just close the application down once it reflashes itself here. So close the application down, open file manager again. If we scroll down to the left and click on USB drive H, if I right click, Go to properties, you'll see that I have 56 gig free. So that's what we've done. We've extended the partition and made it a lot more so we can fill our ROMs and BIOS. So let me open, open window. As we simply do is grab our BIOS. Copy all, click open BIOS on USB drive H and simply just drag and drop a BIOS. Same with ROMs, if we go back, open ROMs, you'll see that we have Amiga, Amiga CD, Arcade, Atari, Atari ST, Coleco, Commodore, CPS, CPS 1, 2 and 3, DOS, the list is endless, fan of Bear Neo, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, we have a lot of new systems now available to us on the RG35XX. Thanks to the amazing work, Black Seraph, who's made this possible for all. So once you've successfully completed that, we just simply close. So now we simply pop the SD card back in. With all the ROMs and BIOS. And now if we go into the consoles, you'll see that all the systems are now available. Good job. So if we click into, say, Super Nintendo, you'll see a list of all the games available. 
do a quick showcase of emulation. So what I really wanted to see improvements uh, was for PlayStation to see if it's improved. Let's go with a hard one to do, which is Bloody Roar 2. Yep, so it's playing really well. So massive improvements on PlayStation 1 performance. And it looks really nice on this screen. Really, I'm impressed with this RG35XX. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you've got one already. Or is it something that you've been thinking of picking up? Or are you going to stick it with your Mayu Mini? Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope this tutorial helped. I hope that the installation process was an easy step by step for you to do. So you can also enjoy this fantastic firmware by Black Serif. I think he's done an outstanding job and the community that has helped alongside there to get to where it is today. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. And I'm sure there's going to be some more updates knowing Black Serif. What would be really nice, guys, is I just did a video, but I don't think YouTube recommended it to everybody. So if you want to check that out, give that a like. Uh, help with the algorithm and if you would be so kind and give this video a like as well also let me know in the comments what you think of the firmware and also what do you think of the rg35xx and as always guys take care